I feel like the whole motto that Smosh gave off was, you know, growing up is weird. And I felt like we needed something that had a demo of, you know, seven or eight year olds. And I really wanted to hone in on, on making, making giggles for eight year olds. And I feel like we really did that. I feel like we really made some giggles for eight year olds. Hello, my name is Sir Humblebrag. Um, apologies for being late. My Tesla was acting a little strange. It's not a big deal. I have a 6.3 inch panius. <laughs> <laughs> Dad? Did you keep any secrets when we were together? We watched Red Line. I know it's one of your favorite movies. Honestly, didn't really like it. <laughs> I feel like uh, the ending left a lot to be desired. They kind of just exploded at the end and you don't know what happens. It's a very long. Okay, I think it's about a 90 minute movie. I think it felt longer. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> yeah. That's a fa that's fair. That's fair. Things that feel longer. Yeah, things feel longer. You know, it feel doesn't longer. feel long, Avatar. You know, it doesn't feel long. <laughs> okay, moving right along. Uh, I'm not gonna dignify that with a response. <laughs> hey, hey, I didn't say it wasn't awesome. <laughs> Red line. More versatile. You got Cheetos and you got flaming on Cheetos, and then you don't even talk to me about the puffs. They get stuck in your teeth. You don't like it. Don't lie to yourself. But Doritos got the cool ranch, the spicy nacho, and the original that makes you just want to go, ooh. Chester Cheetah assassinated JFK. So I don't know how you guys feel about that. <laughs> JFK played it fast and loose. All right, all right, let's, let's see this. Text. The judge a confession. Text oh, me the confession. Shane says three and a half inches. <laughs> LOL JK like 3.6. <laughs> yeah, with 3.6 inches. No, with 3.6 inches. I mean, real good. That was like six separate messages. Dude, that's <laughs> I dropped them all separately. That's Keith, good. Keith, that's, a, that's at least yeah. 0. 0.6 inches on you, dude. So <laughs> no, everybody dude. knows my waiter is small, so. <laughs> Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, you just gotta keep the confession it. short, you know what I mean? <laughs> wow. Keep them short. Okay, here we go. Uh. Hi, uh, next candidate, welcome in. Hello. Huh? My name's Michael Kane. <laughs> God, it says Kane. It just says Kane. Michael Kane. And I would be a great dungeon master. I'll tell you what I do. Uh -huh. First of all, strapping a chastity belt on the person. So if they are, if they feel horny at all, they cannot enjoy it. They're not enjoying my dungeon, all right? I mean, is this a literal dungeon you're talking this about? This is or a we literal about... okay. dungeon. Okay. With... Checking in where everybody is. And there is a dragon. Now, <laughs> my main special move that I do is I bend over. You're chained to the wall, right? You're, and I bend over and you have to look. You just look at my slimy taint. <laughs> and I do that for hours. And, and no matter what you do, I say, you keep looking at it. And they go, no, I, I, I look at it. And I say, you keep looking at it. Batman. Michael Caine? I won't bury you, Batman. I won't do it. I'm just gonna leave him there to rot? Anyways, what? Uh, I'm not just in love with her spirit, but also her body. <laughs> She's built like a substitute teacher. Let's just say I wasn't a wet cop until I met Amanda. <laughs> I learned that Amanda loves drinking skin contact wine. God, if I could make contact with her skin, 
I would never whine. (laughs) (laughs) They say the Creekside killer is still at large. And you know what else is large? Her breasts. Yep. (laughs) (laughs) How's it going? I'm Blaine, Black Shane. I'm from a different universe. There's a white iffy and he's eating everybody's ass. And I came here to protect you. He already got to me. (laughs) (laughs) I've been busy today. I'm Blommy Bones, the black Tommy from the universe, and there is a white iffy, and he's coming around, and he's eating. Oh no. I came here to eat ass and watch anime. Oh no. And I just finished One Piece. Oh. oh. (laughs) Who's giving up ass? It's not me, Blommy. I will. Da 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 Love match! Video 185. <laughs> Whoa there, Jebeditha. Get on along there. Hello, my lady. I am a true gentleman. My name is Augustus, and I'm not very obese. Here's my thing. I'm looking for kids to make. I've got a bunch of comic books and two bad knees. So here's the deal. I don't have a job, but I'm looking for a lady. And I think once I get that, that's gonna motivate me to get off the sofa and get into that heart. I think what I'm saying is, will you be my waifu? Because my body pillow is all (laughs) messed up. (laughs) Hold on, I think I know what I wanna do for my turn. My name is Sir, Sir Philip Simpney, poet, scholar, and courtier, tragically without court. I was banished from the kingdom for being horny in the main hall. Dominic. Okay, uh, Sir Philip Simpney, I would love to see your runway. Please begin. Here I will walk forward with my legs, my torso swiftly, airily moving forward. But then I will walk with my words. Oh no. Thou art a goddess amongst men, a score of 11 on a scale of one to 10. Thou possess a beauty that cannot be tamed, a vision that would put Helen of Troy to shame. Nine feet and six inches of tall vampire queen, the most wondrous sight I ever hath seen. At your feet I grovel and beg, then reveal thine ass of which you may peg. Thank you. And the walk backwards. <laughs> you may never turn your back on the queen. Coming in. Oh, hello. Hi. Hello there. Oh. I would kiss your hands, but the virus, cholera, or whatever <laughs> we're dealing with. Mm. Uh, yeah, and, and who are you? Hi. Sir Philip Sidney. Hi. Poet, scholar, and courtier, tragically without court. But perhaps we could change that. I would love to enter your court. Perhaps I have written some poetry okay. specifically for you and for no one else. Okay. It's, it's about you, Tommy, not okay. any other person. Okay. Sure, I'd love to hear it. Yeah. <clears throat> On through candlelight, my swift soul searches for a purpose in life in this giant rusted machine, meaning that cannot be found in castles nor churches but my fate hath been found in a tall vampire queen. She is perfection from her eyes to her long structured legs, 
a wicked divinity that makes my frame go limp, except my sweet supple ass, of which she pegs. For what am I but her weak, loyal simp? Perhaps a sonnet! No, you don't, perhaps it's really a okay. sonnet. Shall I compare <laughs> thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Tie me up and spit in my mouth. <laughs> Um, this has been wonderful to meet you. You're really, yes. you're, you're one. Did you want a picture? Uh, yeah. A portrait that would take uh, merely a whole day. Oh, actually, it's a, it's a, it'll, it'll only take a second if you want to just. What? Do it. Yeah. What kind of painter do you have here? Yeah. Do you want to? Oh. Sir Philip, I want you to step up here and tell me why you are America's next top. Simple. Oh, well, I've run out of poems. Tragic. My sweet lady, I beg of you, please. I am but a humble, humble servant, begging you, please, to just wrap me up in a bow, perhaps my balls, <laughs> and just go to town. You can do whatever you want, please. Oh, oh, Lady Demistocu, oh! Oh, it would suck so much if you just spanked me as hard as you can with your nine foot six inch lady hands. Oh, just, okay, just strap me into a barrel. Strap me into a barrel with my bare ass peeking out one end and make it a swing and just push me. <laughs> let it come back. Thank you. Has. Um, Dr. Corgan couldn't make it today. I'm, I'll be uh, in his place. I'm a little bunny. Now, uh, we took a look at everything, and um, I wouldn't worry. F huge. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm doing a little painting later. <laughs> just, yeah, just real good. <laughs> All right, this our top. Thank you for coming in. So we looked at everything, and um, it's pretty small. It's pretty small. <laughs> Listen, I don't know how else to tell this this news, you know. It doesn't help that I come in with this just enormous throbbing drumstick as my pencil. <laughs> I'm going to a drum circle later. <laughs> also, I'm a sexy little bunny boy. <laughs> we can write you a prescription for big pee pee sack. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's the 100th Try Not To Laugh, so I figured I'd just come out as Noah uh, and share with you guys something that I actually stole from Lisa's office. Mm. If you can see right here, it says, don't read, super secret. <laughs> Lisa. Uh, so we're just gonna go through, and we're gonna see what she's got, files on us, I think. Okay, so this is, wow, interesting. First thing, that says, Ian eats ass. <laughs> I guess Lisa knows that. <laughs> uh, what else does Lisa know? Ooh, this is interesting. Um, I think we got Shane. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's... Must have been in the interviews to get hired. I don't know. Uh, ooh, this one's about Damien. Here we go. Uh, Damien politely nibbles anus. Nibbles <laughs> <laughs> anus. And then, uh, close. Oh, we got Keith. Here we go, Keith. I, I think we all expected this one. Um, Keith eats black ass. <laughs> like groceries. <laughs> like groceries. Oh, oh sorry too much. <laughs> I used to have really bad ingrown hairs on this side right here. For some reason, it just cleared up. Your bumps. Like, Jesus, for my bumps. So I like used to pick with it all the time, and all the cast used to tell me to like stop doing it. Like, oh, don't... like recently? No, like yeah. Well, I guess for the past two years, like starting mm -hmm. out here, it just never went away. It was really bad, and I made sure that I sat on this side instead of that side. Actually, getting the ingrown hairs out was like nice. <laughs> it was like really. Did really they just nice. grow? Like, what eventually happened? How'd you get rid of them? I don't know. Jesus just came into my face. And it was like, <laughs> and he just. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Oh. Oh, no. 
That's not what I'm hey. I, I really just right now I just want to apologize to Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> just real fast because I'm stuck. I definitely got a little stuck after I said it. And as the lie detector rolled across the land, he showed the world what it was lacking. The truth. Your baby is so cute. Liar. I ain't never let my ex play with my butt. Liar. I do everything I can to help the environment. Liar. I've never tasted my own semen. <laughs> This just in, world peace has finally been achieved thanks to a new superhero known as the Lie Detector! We're joined now with the Lie Detector and the doctor who found him. <laughs> Tell us about him, doctor. Well, I found him nearly dead, then I realized his true potential and sent him off into the world to save it. Liar. What? No, that's what happened. Liar. Is that all you can say? Oh, liar. My penis is three and one quarter inches long. Liar. No, that's that's literally a fact. Liar. How could you lie to me? You fucking liar. And so ends the tale of the lie detector, a plot completely devised by myself so that I would force my ex-husband into revealing that he has a small penis. Fuck you, Ken. Lie